working in Plainfield this afternoon, right after news of the Supreme Court's decision came down. WGN's Jewel Hillary live downtown with more on the vice president's visit. Jewel. Hi, good evening to you also. About an hour ago, the vice president wrapped up her remarks at the National Association of Latino Elected Officials Conference here in downtown Chicago. But prior to being in the city, she was in Plainfield, where she spoke to a crowd sharing her disappointment about the Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe versus Wade. Vice President Kamala Harris touched down an Air Force Two around 1030 Friday morning before heading to the C.W. Avery Family YMCA in Plainfield, where she planned to talk about the Biden-Harris administration's efforts to improve maternal health care. Instead, the vice president focused on the Supreme Court decision to end five decades of protecting abortions on a federal level. Here's what that decision means. For nearly 50 years, we have talked about what Roe v. Wade protects. Today, as of right now, as of this minute, we can only talk about what Roe v. Wade protected. The vice president has argued that abortion restrictions are examples of gender discrimination designed to take away women's rights. Thursday, she met with attorneys general representing several Democratic-led states, suggesting they may be able to head up legal challenges directed at any new state abortion restrictions coming from the Supreme Court's decision, which the vice president calls a health care crisis. Because understand, millions of women in America will go to bed tonight without access to the health care and reproductive care that they had this morning. This is the first time in the history of our nation that a constitutional right has been taken from the people of America. Dick Durbin and State Representative Lauren Underwood, who both traveled with the vice president, echo her sentiments. I think it's the wrong step in terms of the future of this country. The decision on whether or not a child should go forward, be born, whether a family should grow it or at some point decide not to increase their number is a very personal decision. It's one that should be made by individuals. Until we are, we are dedicated to protecting women's fundamental freedoms to make decisions about their own bodies. Harris says today's decision is not the end of the road for the abortion rights advocates. You have the power to elect leaders who will defend and protect your rights. And as the president said earlier today, with your vote, you can act and you have the final word. Now again, the vice president made two stops here in Illinois, one in Plainfield and the other here in downtown Chicago for the Naleo conference. We'll share some of her remarks from that conference coming up at 630. For now, reporting live in downtown Chicago, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News. Thank you, Jewel. And abortion.